Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. And uh, so for you, Leo. Now, please keep in mind, though, before I start, that um, this could be your energy, but it could be the other person's also. Um, I feel like I feel like somebody is very troubled by uh, the way things ended or why things ended. I feel this has to do with um, feelings. I feel like um, we have the Page of Cups here in reverse, so I feel like there was a very emotional ending to a situation and it was a breakup. I feel like somebody felt wounded or was wounded. Um, there could have been jealousy involved here. Um, this could be about, uh, it could be about uh, hidden things, um, hiding things. Maybe they thought you were hiding things. Um, and because because they couldn't see clearly um, or see the truth of a situation, it feels like they held back their true feelings. Because I feel like their true feelings are that they did love you. They do love you still. I feel like they thought that those feelings they felt for you were not returned. Okay, and so this is bothering them about that situation because they did end it um, quite quickly, rather, you know. So they 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 ended it rather quickly um, because they felt uh, that you didn't love them and they were feeling wounded. Um, but now it's like they're in reflection about that situation. They're unable to forget. They're haunted by it. And something about the situation is eating at them. You can clearly see here with the mice. And I feel like it's been eating at them for some time. Um, it's possible that the thoughts they're thinking were also feeding the mice in return. Um, I feel like I feel like there there is a wish to uh, there's a wish to kind of unravel this and get to the truth. Okay. I feel like this person wants to reunite with you, frankly. And I feel like there is something that's going to be revealed. Um, I feel like this person is looking to a, for a solution to their problem, to their circumstances, to this problem of, uh, of um, whatever it is that's eating at them, okay? They're looking for the answers. They're looking for a solution. I feel like, um, I feel like this begins to unfold within an eight, okay? This series and and it is a series of events that are going to occur almost like dominoes that's how they're showing it to me and so this person and here they are oh oh my goodness look what they're sitting on uh, on a new beginning I feel like they're yeah they're heavily burdened here they're sitting on the child and the child is uh, probably encouraging him to try to look at a situation through new eyes. That's what the child does. It is the message. Um, and I feel like this is what they have been attempting to do, trying to do, um, because there's something that has been eating at them. And um, they're heavily burdened. Here they are. Uh, the card they stare at is this one. And it is the Two of Coins. And in this deck, it is uh, wanting to return. It's like a longing to return to uh, to this happy time. Okay, um, when you guys were crazy in love. So this is being very focused on uh, a decision to do that. 
it could indicate that they are going back and forth on it, trying to make up their mind. Something could also have been misinterpreted in the past with this card. And maybe they are thinking that. Maybe they are thinking that, well, maybe I misinterpreted something. This person really wants you back. I feel like, I, okay, it's like I can't forget them. I can't forget them. So I just, I have to go this way. It's like they're, they're being forced in a specific direction by their heart. It's like their heart is pulling them along. You, you must come this way, come this way. There's something that you need to learn. It's like that. It's like that. I can, I can feel the heart grabbing them by the hand, pulling them that way, you know. And so uh, this person really wants... Uh, to come back to you. They, they, they've tried and tried to pull away, but there's just something that's pulling them back. And I believe it is something, a truth that the heart knows that they can't see. I, I'm staring at the heart here and it's on its side. And, but I'm also staring at the, um, uh, the clover, which is right, right next to it over here. You guys can't see it, but I can see it. It's right in front of me. I'm just going to turn them up so that you can. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. And, um, and so uh, maybe they're hoping for some luck, or this could be a symbol that their luck is about to change. I feel like, you see, they really want to get you back. It's right here. They want to win you back. They want this. Um, they're missing information. They don't have all the information. Um, you see here that this connection is still very much felt by this person. And we see that they are thinking of sending off these messages. Okay, um, And we see them here. Uh, thinking about those messages and how much they want you back in their life. And here they are sending off these messages. These messages that are coming in are really, really important. Now, like I said, this whole situation will begin to unfold within an eight. I feel like they could have done something that they didn't really think through in the past. Maybe they made an impulsive decision when it came to love, when it came to this love connection. I feel like they they did love you. They just didn't know if you loved them. I think that was the biggest problem, or it seemed like it at the time it was the biggest problem. But actually, the big, big problem probably comes or goes further back. It's something they're not seeing, okay? Um, about, because I mean, look how they reacted. There's a reason they reacted that way. There's a reason why they were, oh, woe is me. They don't love me. They don't care for me. This is coming from somewhere deeper within them, and they need to find that wound. That's an old wound that they're carrying. They need to find it, okay? Um, because it is influencing this, and it has influenced this uh, right up till till this moment. Okay, they want to talk to you. They want this new beginning. They want to take it, you know, to a better place with the six of swords. Um, This can be taking a new approach to something, which is uh, what the child was uh, talking about, okay? Um, and so they could be trying to see something differently. They could be trying to learn with the Hierophant uh, uh, whatever 
uh, learn what they need to know about, yeah, see, about what happened in the past. There's the argument. Okay, so this has to do, from what I can see here, it has to do with loyalties and faithfulness. Were they loyal to me? Were they faithful? Were they being faithful? Uh, did they love me? Did they ever care for me? These are things they want to learn. So they're going back and forth and back and forth on this, and you can see how emotional it is for them. Uh, on this decision to go back and uh, get this information, learn what they need to know, get the new perspective on an old situation, okay? Something that has been eating at them for a long time. Um, and then they can decide, do they want to start this over again or do they want to start in new? Okay, but they can't move on. They can't start new. They can't let this go until they get the right information. There's something that keeps pulling them back to this person. Okay, there's something that is telling them, go back and get your information. It's, it's like I, I, I told you, I see the heart taking them by the hand and saying, come with me. There's something you need to know, something you need to learn. Let's go, you know, let's go back. And so this is them going back or thinking of going back to do this, to get this information. So I, I kind of feel like this is a love situation that's temporarily in suspension. Until, oh, look at that, Eight of Swords on its side too. Until somebody sees what they need to see about, you know, about a past situation. This is about a past situation. You know, figuring out how they got here is, is the solution to getting out of it. But to figure out how they got here, they have to go back. They have to. I feel like in the future you will hear from this person. Um, see, here they are looking back down here because they want this new beginning because, you know, this could be them finally admitting that you are the one, you know, they're with the Empress, you are the one, and they want to see new growth here. And so this is them looking back at a situation where you began something, but you never finished it, it didn't work, because somebody maybe was, maybe somebody misinterpreted something, maybe uh, somebody was not very understanding, um, was not willing to compromise on anything. I mean, it, it could be any of those things. But whatever happened and whatever was going on or for whatever reason, we know it didn't work. And this person is going back here in their mind to look at that scene because they have to figure out how did I end up here alone? How did I end up here alone? First, they're with me standing by my side and now I'm alone. How did that happen? That's what they need to figure out. And once they do, well, you will hear from them. You will hear from them. And they, um, as much as it pains them to admit it, uh, they have made a mistake. This is like a lesson learned, really. They have made a mistake. They jumped to conclusions back here about somebody's feelings. They didn't have all the facts. It's written right here in this image. They didn't have all the facts. There's three coins here that have nothing written on them. What happens when you don't have all the facts? Well, the imagination and your deepest fears, like what's in the Eight of Swords that I see here, uh, sweep in to fill in those blanks and can really twist a story into a very ugly tale, you know. So um, we must be careful. 
about making judgments. And so uh, that's what they did. I feel I made a, a false uh, judgment. Um, they will come in and they will admit to it though. They're going to own up to their mistake as much as it pains them to do that. Uh, they will do it um, because it's not somebody who, who would usually admit to having been wrong. <clears throat> and so they will come and they will ask, you know, if you know, if you would be willing to set these feelings aside and start anew with them. Let's let's just start over again. That's what they want. There it is right there. And so they will offer you their cup once again. Why? Because they really want you back. Okay. They lost you and they want you back. They recognize that um they recognize that their life needs to change with death here and this is where it begins right here this is also about them facing their ghosts of the past this is what they've learned with the wheel of fortune okay being here and I feel like uh, this is going to be tested <laughs> I feel like this is going to be tested in the future because you are getting back together. It's right here. So have they learned their lesson? Well, we shall see. <laughs> we shall see because that's what the wheel is waiting to find out. <laughs> so that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you. Bye for now.